Hello everyone and welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung. We're taking a look at GNS3 1.2. Just came out last Thursday while I was taking a CCI boot camp in Bellevue, Washington, service provider boot camp. And the update's pretty cool, but it's got one feature that's gonna make a lot of teachers, instructors, anyone who runs a study group or a meetup group dealing with Cisco stuff, it's gonna make all of those people happy. It made me very, very happy when I discovered it and started playing around with it. And that is allowing people to remotely connect to a console on your virtual routers inside of GNS3. Now in the past, what you had to do is if, if you wanted someone to connect to R1, you had to, you had to drag in R1, obviously, and then you had to go up here and add cloud. You had to connect the cloud and you had to configure the cloud and all that good stuff. And then you had to connect IP addresses, all that good stuff. So, not anymore. What we're going to do here is we're going to go take a look at Edit and Preferences. Go down here to GNS3 Server, and you'll see that you've got this new option, never before seen. It's called Allow Console Connections to Any Local IP Address. It's unchecked by default. Go ahead and check it and click Apply. What's going to happen is you're going to get a firewall message coming up if you're on Windows. And of course, you're going to allow that. Now, in the past, GNS3 would start up the console when you start up the router. And it was probably port 2001. And if you tried to go to port 2001 on the IP address from a different computer, it wouldn't work. And the reason is GNS3 took that port and you were out of luck. But now, if we click on play, we've got our, our router started. And console to all devices. We've got our R1 up and running. So, so far nothing is too crazy. We're just looking at this from a regular PC. But if I go to another PC, I'm going to go over here to my Windows machine, my, uh, my laptop here. Now, what you're seeing on the screen is still the desktop, but trust me, I'm 10 feet, 5 feet to the left. The IP address on my computer, my desktop, is 192.168.0.5. I'm going to telnet to it, port 2001. Click open, and if you heard that ding, that was the ding coming from my laptop. I see a console window on my laptop. I see R1. Now here's, so this part's cool. This is a very easy way of remoting in. I'm going to show you kind of an extra added bonus that I didn't really expect. If I type on my laptop, you can see that my console window on the desktop is mirroring everything that I type. It's not going away. I kind of expected that if I remote in from another computer to the desktop, that the desktop putty session would die out, but it didn't. So what's cool about this, if you're running a study session, if you're teaching Cisco classes, if you're a Network Academy instructor and you're doing this, you can watch your students type out configs and either laugh at them or encourage them however you want kind of depends on how sadistic you are but you know if your student is on their laptop they're typing out their conf t router ospf1 network statement and they they mess up the network statement you know whatever 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 and uh you know they mistype it or something like that they put it in the wrong area you can immediately correct them if you want so this is really cool. It's going to be a game changer for a lot of study sessions, study groups out there, and it's very easy to enable. All you have to do, once again, go up here to Edit, Preferences, GNS3 Server, make sure this checkbox is checked. That's all you have to do. Once again, my name's Humphrey Chung with Router Gods. Thanks for watching.